Hi everyone. This week on Beer released some new products and I was quite interested to see what they like so I thought I would buy some and uh, do a video and the video is going to be about how to fit sound into the Class 66 um, but I'm also going to show you how to fit into the Backman model as well using the new TTS decoder so it'll be useful to people who are fitting sound to either the Hornby model or the uh, Backman model um, and I'm sure when the Hattons model comes out it'll follow a similar process as well so it might be useful for that too. I'm also going to show you how to upgrade the speaker. So I've got various different speakers which you could potentially try and I'm going to work out which one sounds the best and uh, see which one will fit into the available space. Um, so to start with I'm going to look at the Hornby model. Um, so I went for this one in British Rail livery. Now I'm sure there'll be plenty of videos about this model and plenty of people talking about what they think about it compared to other models. Um, but all I can say is that for £100, or roughly £100, I've got myself a Class 66 and a sound decoder. So I think that's pretty good value. And I suppose once I've set it up and tested it, I'll be able to tell you whether it's worth the money. But to start with, I need to fit the sound, so I've already had a quick practice, I must admit, but the body literally just unclips, easy as that, so I'll move that out of the way for the time being. Now, sometimes you look in a new model and it's just all circuit board and wires, but not in this one, it's got very little to it, definitely uses slightly older technology. Um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing because it keeps the cost down and it gives you loads of space. So once you've got your decoder out of the box, you're going to find it's connected to one of these 20 by 40 speakers in a little plastic enclosure, which it just screws into. But I don't particularly like these speakers. Uh, they sound quite tinny and I just don't really think they do the models justice. So... With the Hornby model, as I just said, you've got plenty of space. More space than I expected, actually. So really, you've got choice of pretty much any speaker to go in there. The only thing you need to make sure you stick to is that it's an 8-ohm speaker. So if you are looking for speakers, um, avoid things that say that they're 4-ohms because it's going to damage your decoder eventually. Um, but I'm going to try a few. Now, these are quite good. They're just sort of a normal bass reflex speaker. Quite big, um, but it will fit in that space without any real issues. But I don't think that's going to be the best one for the job. I think I'm probably going to try one of these two. Um, these ones are a little bit cheaper, so maybe this one suits the idea of the model a little bit more in that it's a a low price model and this will add to your cost too much but it should still make quite a big improvement. Um, the other option would be this mega bass speaker which you've probably seen in loads of my videos before. I think this one will sound great with it and it's pretty much a perfect fit. So I'm going to try both of them and just see which one I get on with best. And I think I'll start with this one with it being the cheaper one and uh, we'll see how that one sounds first. So through the power of video editing I've now fit the speaker and the decoder into the model. Um, I decided to just stick with this speaker, I'm not even going to try the other one because I just had a quick test of it and it sounds really good. Um, so I'll just show you what I've done. This is just held down with black tack, don't need much, just a little bit to stop it moving. If you don't have black tack you could use blue tack, it'll work just as well. And I guess you could glue it in if you wanted a more permanent solution. Uh, the 8 pin plug plugs in that way with the wires facing sort of across the weight in the middle. Um, it doesn't matter too much I don't think if you put it in the wrong way because the model doesn't have lights but it'll run in the wrong direction so it's best to try and put it in the right way. Um, this whole top piece is plastic so all I've done is um, sit the decoder on top of it loosely and I've run the wires across the top of it kind of twisted it into position and I've just put a bit of tape to hold it down 
to connect the new speaker. I just unsoldered the old ones and then I soldered the new speaker wires on. You might not be able to see, but I've just used a little bit of black tech, uh, sorry, a little bit of heat shrink to cover the um, joint up. It doesn't really matter what you use to cover it up as long as you use something, so a bit of electrical tape will be fine as well. Um, but that's all done, it's all neatly in place, it's not going to move anywhere and the body can just click back on. Um, so I'll show you the Batman model, how I'm going to put the sound in that one and then I'll show you them both running. The Batman model doesn't have as much space in it so you're going to be forced to use a smaller speaker. If it's a 21 pin model like this, uh, you're going to have a little bit more space. So what I would use is one of these small bass reflex speakers. Now you can probably see that this model's already got one fitted to it and it's already stuck down so I've left it. But basically it is a small bass re reflex speaker, it's 8 ohms and it fits just in the speaker well. It actually hangs out but it's still below the roof line so it doesn't matter, the body still clears it, no problem. With it being a 21 pin model, you're going to have to use a 21 pin adapter, um, like that. So that just fits on over the 21 pin socket like you'd put a decoder on. And it leaves you with an 8 pin socket then, and then you just use it in exactly the same way you'd use anything that's got 8 pins. The wires, you won't be able to connect them onto the speaker terminals on the circuit board. With it being an 8 pin decoder, those speaker wires will have to go straight to the speaker wires that are on the decoder, just like you did on the um, Hornby one. So, nice and easy to do. Just out of interest for anybody who might be using an 8 pin model, a uh, Batman model, they don't have as much space so this speaker won't be any good. Pretty much the best speaker you'll be able to use on one of those would be one of these iPhone speakers. Um, but that is only the older Batman models, the newer ones, and they have done it for some time. I've all used the 21 pin chassis. So I'm going to put this one together now, and I'll show you this running round as well. It'll be interesting to see how it compares to the Hornby one, which has the bigger speaker. But I still think this is making the most of the space that's there. So that's it, you've heard both the models now, um, hopefully you like how they sound, 
Hopefully you can tell the difference between the standard speaker and the ones that I've fitted. Um, I know I haven't shown you with the standard speaker, but there's going to be loads of people doing videos of this with the standard speaker, so I'm sure somebody will record one that you can watch. Um, but these new speakers certainly do sound good with it, and they're all available from my website, so is the 21 pin adapter, so feel free to order them from there and I'll get them sent out quickly for you. And if you've got any questions, you can either send me an email through my website or you can just leave a comment below. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and hopefully it's helped a few people who might be trying to fit sound to their models.